Hi guys, I wanted to do a little review on this bike stand I just got this week. It's uh, Rosas, or it's R-O-C-E-S, however you want to say it. Uh, I've seen them on eBay and Amazon, uh, ranging between $90 and $120, depending on the seller. Uh, it comes mostly assembled. I thought you'd have to put all the little plastic pieces together and screws, but the only thing you nearly need to do is... Uh, Put this bolt through there the head comes separate it comes folded up in the box and then this head you have to just put the bolt on there and then this uh, assembly here and then the, there's a few screws in the parts tray but i haven't owned a, a park one but i thought you know i need i need something for my bikes to hold them when i work on them I, i've been a little stubborn on getting one last year so i thought i'd try this one i i wasn't sure how the quality would be i thought for 100 bucks it might be a piece of crap but uh actually pretty impressed i don't have a mountain bike at the time and right now i sold mine and i'm gonna get a new one here in march got one ordered so uh the head on this i'll, I'll show how this works right now there's a little there's a little safety clip here can't remember if you push or pull here push up and then that uh rotates this and then you just you know whatever angle you want goes back in locks this locks down a um, little clamp here for clamping that and then all the little clamps and stuff are really uh, nice machined clamps the plastic the fit is nice oh uh, I, I don't know if that's I don't think it's really anodizing but paint the paints nice uh, there's some rubber rubber grips on there clamp looks to be pretty good like I said I, have, I don't have a mountain bike that's a little heavier but we'll put a bike in it a little bit here uh, so you just fold out the legs, fold down the legs like most, uh, and then there's a toggle clamp there, you just clamp, there you go, and then there's a height adjustment, loosen that up, goes up to there, that's pretty high. Um, then this is a, uh, just got a little clamp here. For uh, holding onto your wheel, holding the front wheel straight, so it's not flopping around on you. One thing I, oh, I almost forgot to mention this uh, this parts tray does come with it. I think it's an option on some other brands. So uh, this parts tray, there's some uh, holes right on the back side here. Just slides in there. You can pick it, take it back off for assembly, or you know, to disassemble it to store it. So that's pretty, pretty handy to. Store your tools. It's even got some little uh, places for your hex wrenches and different things on it. So that's a little nice little bonus on it too. So uh, let's try and put a bike in it. I like I said, I don't have a uh, don't have a uh, mountain bike right now, but we'll try this 41 year old BMX bike. tighter so we got it seems to be holding pretty good this is a pretty light bike but uh and then you would uh somehow fasten this to the front wheel for handlebar or whatever see so but that's not flopping around on you so it looks like it's pretty good um like i've never owned a park one so this is my first one so I think for the for the money that it'll do what I need to do um, I'm not a pro at this or anything but it is nice to get when you're cable routing or doing something with the drivetrain you can get it uh, going and stuff so yeah I'm pretty impressed with the quality for the, for the money I'm a machinist and, and no fit and finish and stuff and I'm pretty impressed with it for for a hundred bucks shipped you really can't go wrong so I thought maybe you know if the clamp was cheap or something I could make it make an aluminum one or do something but it looks like it's gonna work fine so thanks for watching I hope you liked the review thanks